After a few warm-up exercises, the gang split into groups to have their beach time fun. Chloe, together with Rishia, went into the water to give Kia and Sully swimming lessons. Oh. That's perfect, Kia. Keep it up and you'll have it down. Really? I think I've got it now. Let me try it on my own, Lloyd. Are you sure? Well, alright. Are you sure you've never gone swimming before, Kia? You look like a pro. I don't think so. Look at Shorty go. Teach me how to do that, Rishia. Sure thing. Your upper body's a little tense, so you'll want to make sure that... You girls catch on quick? Sure do. It's just swimming. Not like we're doing anything that impressive. I hope you drown, Sully. Hey, Sully! Let's swim to that rock over there. Uh, why should I? Just remember to be careful. You can go to that rock, but not one reach farther. Okay, you two. Roger. Well, fine. I'll go already. Oh, Rishi, it's just you and me. Anything you want to, like, talk about? What, what'd you think of that whole, like... What'd you think of that whole uh, attack in the West Samaria Trade Conference? That was wild, huh? You think they're gonna be alright? They should. It's fairly shallow around here, so I'm sure little ways out won't hurt. Kia truly is amazing, you know. She surprises me every time. I mean, she took to the water in no time at all. It's really impressive. Yeah, but I get the feeling she's done this before. It was probably all muscle memory for her. Sully learned the roads pretty fast herself, though. Didn't she say she's never gone swimming before today? That's right. But she's really, really doubling down on her training, training her dexterity during rehearsal. She's the type that didn't get the gist of something after seeing it done just once. Is that so? I think she's been working hard since joining the troop. That reminds me, Ark and CL is putting an updated version of its show, right? Yes, well, it's ultimately still the Golden Sun Silver Moon that you remember. In our newest rendition, Sully will be starring as a third princess. We've even added some extra scenes for her to take the spotlight in. That's incredible. It's amazing that she's getting a major role so quickly, especially after what happened when we first met her. I'm proud of her. I think Sully's tenacity is meshed perfectly with Ilya's particular brand of guidance. Perhaps better than I have. Huh? It's nothing. These swimming lessons have me a little winded, so I think I'll go back to the others and rest. Feel free, you've earned it. We still have plenty of time left at the beach, so let's enjoy it while we can. Of course. She may be a bit on the short side, but she more than makes up for it. Wait, what am I thinking? Snap out of it, there's a lot of time left until noon. Maybe I'll go check on what the- What did you mean by that, excuse me? Did I miss something? Hey, Ellie. Hey there, Lloyd. Checking in with everyone? Something like that? You guys are getting some good sunbathing in, I take it. I think I've seen you or Ellie go into the water yet, though. Are you s at least having fun? We are. Simply relaxing is plenty enjoyable. I relish the opportunity to catch up with Ellie and Rishia. <laughs> it's been fun talking, save for one small topic that keeps up coming. Keeps coming upwards. Cecile keeps asking how things are going between you and me. Uh, don't let Maribel hear that. She really does. I'm not sure what to make of it. Cecile, I thought we'd been over this. I'm just curious is all. It's a big sister's duty to check in on how her little brother's love life is going. I have a right to know who my future sister-in-law is going to be after all. No, you don't. Conversation over. She isn't definitely different from Ilya. They are childhood friend best friends, I suppose. Oh, I know, Lloyd. Why don't you join us for some sunbathing? There's an empty chair for you to sit in on our girl talk. I don't really think I'd have much off to offer on that front. Plus, I feel kind of embarrassed butting in. Sorry, but I think I'll pass. Oh, really? That's too bad. There's nothing to be embarrassed about between friends. At least, right? I wouldn't have minded catching up with you as well. I'm flattered I am, but I really shouldn't. In that case, we'll let you go, but only if you agree to put sunscreen on each of us. What? What are you thinking, Cecile? I'm not sure about this. What's wrong with that? I don't have any problems with it. From what I remember, the both of you were worried about getting sunburned today, weren't you? Besides, Ellie, it's like you said. There's nothing to be embarrassed about between friends. I, I know, but... Oh, fine. 
I'm a woman to my word. Just be civil about it, Lloyd. Look, everyone else is too busy playing. You're the only one who's free. Like Cecile said, it's best I avoid getting sunburned today. I mean, who likes getting sunburned? It sucks. I'm speaking from experience. And if I had to choose, I'd rather have you help me than someone like Randy. A good choice. That is true. I put some sunscreen on Elia back at the hotel, but, well... Anyway, I wouldn't mind so much if it were you, Lloyd. I know we can trust you. You too, Rishia? Now do you get it, Lloyd? These lovely ladies in their skin need you. You wouldn't want to let them down, would you? Oh, screw it, let's do it. Fine, I can handle this, just you watch. You'd better not handle anything, mister. He's a little more gung-ho about this than I expected. He he's, he's Lloyd. Like, you could read him like an open book. Good, now let's get to it. There's just one question. Which of us would you like to start with, Lloyd? Uh... I guess I'll start with you, Cecile. Okay, I guess I'll start with you, Cecile. Fine with me, go right ahead. Don't you dare make me do, uh... A la massage minigame. How's that, Cecile? Just like that, not too thick, though. Be sure to spread it around. Got it. This brings back memories, doesn't it? Remember when we used to wash each other's backs in the bath from time to time when you were little? Why are you bringing that up now of all times? Lloyd's voice acting here is great, by the way. Oh, Lloyd, give me some warning before you put your hands there. I'm sorry. Jeez, Cecile, you're being way too casual about this. Plus, from where I'm standing, it's hard not to notice how much of a bombshell she is. What am I thinking? This is Cecile for Adios' sake? Is something wrong, Lloyd? You've been rubbing the same spot for a long time now. It's not because there's more of me to rub, is it? The patients and head nurse have been bringing me a lot of pastries lately. Have I been gaining weight? That's not it. Trust me, Cecile, your body's perfect the way it is. Wait, no, I mean... Why, thank you, Lloyd. Close as always, I see. Ellie, you have nothing to worry about. She's like my sister figure. She's just as doting as they say. No. I still can't believe that just happened. Talk about that view. Thanks, Lloyd. That was just what we needed. I just might drift away into dreamland at this rate. I'm not sure it's a good idea to fall asleep with your top untied, Cecile. You should probably try to be a little more mindful of your surroundings. God, oh, but I'm so comfortable. So, uh, how about I bring you a few cold drinks to perk you all up? You do that? It's the least I can do. If anyone here has been dreaming, it's been me for the last several minutes. Oh boy, I'm gonna have to answer. I'm gonna have to answer to Adios for this someday. Don't worry about it. It's nothing. So, how do a few virgin cocktails sound? That would be lovely. Oh, but don't feel like you have to hurry. You can take your time and have fun with the others if you want. Thanks, I might just do that. Yeah, my time is precious or whatever. Yo, volleyball kids, what's up? Randy! Oh. You're up. Ooh, nice spike. Yes. And game. I actually love volleyball. Damn, we got creamed. I couldn't even see the ball. <laughs> You contorted your entire body to deliver that spike. Is there anything Ilya Platier doesn't excel at? Why, thank you. That was amazing. Ah, oh, hey there, little guy. Were you watching? How'd you like my killer coup de gras? It was seriously impressive. Freaking terrifying is more like it. That thing was practically a missile. Did you see her dig on my spike? That takes a pro to pull off something like that. She has Wazi's excellent assist for, to thank for that. He set Ilya up perfectly. An amateur like me can only hope for so many lucky breaks due to have made a far more cohesive team. For the little bit that I saw, you guys looked like you were playing at a high level. You might even be good enough to be competitive. You might take home a tournament or two. Not a bad idea. I don't know if it'd be all that easy, but who knows. We could actually scan the shot. Say, why don't you join us for the next game? It'll be fun. Alright, I'll bite. I just hope I don't spoil the fun or anything. I'll bite. Sure. I mean, I'm kind of a total rookie. I don't even know all the rules. Well, on the fundamental level, it's pretty much the same as regular volleyball. 
the main difference is that it's two on two, and that's it's played on sand, obviously. Typically, the first team to 21 points wins the set. Seeing as this is all just fun and games, what do you say to a friendly first to 12 exhibition? Oh, alright, sounds good to me. That's enough of the nitty gritty. What do you say we decide teams? With no joining, that leaves one person over to be the ref. Ah, oh, my bad. I forgot me joining would throw off the balance. Don't worry about it. Good guest of honor, little guy. We'll let you pick who you want to be partnered up with. Alright, let's see. Hmm. Wazi, my man. I'm counting on you, Wazi. Wise decision. I have to decide the other team. Whoever's left over will refu referee. How about rock, paper, scissors? Loser sits out. Fair enough, guys. Works for me. Let's hash this out quick and get this game started. The ensuing rounds of RPS resulted in Noel being referee. <laughs> get wrecked, Noel. With that, the match was set. Lloyd and Wazi versus Randy and Elia. Oh, Randy got his dream partner. And then. I think Randy rigged Noel in RPS so he can team with Ilya. That's my head cannon. In between Ilya and Randy. Oh, they blocked it. <laughs> Point Ilya and Randy. Hell yeah, nice one, Ilya. <laughs> When it said the sideline, I wasn't sure if it was going to go outside, so my, my logic was like, you don't want to aim for past the sideline, but that probably was the one to pick. Is that all you got, boys? Lloyd, Lloyd, Lloyd. Do you really think a frontal assault will do much against a pair of physical powerhouses like them? Sorry, miscalculation on my part. By the way, Wazi, what did you mean when you yelled dink back there? I expected Ilya was going to come up with the block, so I didn't think a spike was the right play. Dinking refers to lightly hitting the ball to curve it over to the blockers. I've never heard the word dinking. Then again, it's been a while since I played volleyball. I want you to aim for the boundary line. Now I get it. But how the heck was I supposed to understand that in the middle of a game? My mistake. Don't think about it too much. There's still time to mount a comeback. Game set. Ilya and Randy take it. 12 to 4. A total blowout. That was pretty fun. Good match. Hey, you guys. Do you think we could play one more game? Watching you guys go at it on the court made me feel a little left out. So it'd be alright if I swapped in for another set. I'm cool with it. We'll have to rearrange teams, though. Fine by me. Go ahead and pick who you want to partner with this time, Lloyd. Let me think. You know what, Noel? Yeah, I'll partner with you this time. You're up next, Noel. I got your back. You got mine. Roger that. Let's do our best. Now, Randy referees the second game. With that, the next match was Lloyd, Lloyd and Noel versus Wazi and Elia. Take it. Here it comes. Anticipate the spike and block. Sure. Okay, this game is stupid. Point to Ilya and Wazi. That was pretty slick of you, Wazi. You got a few tricks up your sleeve. I have no idea what you're talking about. You know how it goes. Our opponents are a pair of straight lace squares. A few fake outs are sure to trip them up. A pair of what? Are we just gonna lie down and take this, Lloyd? This game's not over yet. Gut check time, Noel. Don't take your eyes off the ball for a second. There goes our comeback. Now that was a blast and a half. It was a nice twist shuffling up the team once you came over, little guy. Why do you call me little guy? I had a lot of fun too. It was tough playing two games in a row though. Yeah, maybe. But the real tragedy here is that we got through the whole thing without a single wardrobe malfunction. I at least expected Noelle to be clumsy enough to slip out of her top a little. Dog, great minds think alike. She was getting pretty carried away, I doubt she would even notice. Randy, Wazi, I'm not that much of a klutz. Jeez. I can't help but notice that Elia wanted just as much. Oh, is anyone else feeling thirsty right about now? I could buy us all something nice and cold at the stand if you want. That's my favorite little guy. So considerate. Let me see. You know, I heard they got some special new beverages exclusive to Michelin. 
Oh yeah, I remember people talking about that. It's a soft drink called Bell Cola. Supposedly it's refreshing and bubbly like you wouldn't believe. Oh, it's Coca-Cola in the Trails universe. I guess we'll just have to be the judge of that ourselves. Alright, four Bell Colas coming up. Yes, please. Don't feel like you need to rush. You can visit the others first. Sure thing, I'll bring them by for everyone later. Sand Castle. Pack, pack, pack. Pat, pat, pat. We're really getting into this. What a good boy. Oh, hello, Lloyd. Is everything okay? Sorry about that. I didn't mean to interrupt. I was just wondering what you two were up to. Ah, it's nothing special. What do you think they're doing? Luke? We're just making a sand castle together is all. Think of it as an arts and crafts, but with sand. That being said, is it, it isn't going as planned. Everything we make collapses like ancient Zemiria. I can see why that would be frustrating. Say, Lloyd, you're here. We're here. Want to help us out a little? Oh, me? We need to make some meaningful progress with your assistance. I ah, sure, why not? Sure, I'm down. If you think too, if you think I can help, then I'll do what I can. Oh, thanks, Lloyd. I knew we can count on you. If you say so, but honestly, I wouldn't even know where to start. That's all right. It's not as though any of us are professionals. To our new sand architectural firm. We're making some good progress. We are. It won't be much longer before we. <laughs> this is harder than I anticipated. Maybe the problem is that the sand isn't strong enough? Strong? What do you mean? We've already been mixing it with water in our buckets to help the foundation. Sure, but it dries out while you're building the rest of it. It could be better to add some water as you go along to it. You make a valid argument. We could try that. How much water should we be adding each time? Let me think. What? I don't know. A medium amount? Can't go wrong with medium. Everything is best in moderation, I say. Try adding more water, but not too much. That should make the sand just a firm enough, probably. Are you sure? Why don't we try Lloyd's idea and see what happens? Construction's almost complete, that being said. It's kind of spring a few leaks, leaks here and there. Maybe we overdid it with the water, so it was probably a little bit. At least it isn't collapsing. Not yet, anyway. If we hurry, we can still add finishing touches. The central section of the castle could use a few structural expansions. Would you mind taking care of that for us, Lloyd? Yeah, sure. Leave it to me. We're counting on you, Lloyd. It's up to you to make our masterpiece sparkle. Why do I suddenly feel like I'm under pressure? It's just a sand castle. That's what I'm saying. Okay, we used to water the strength in the sand, but it still has its limits. If the thing is going to stay upright, I'm going to have to pack it with the right power and speed, but how much? What is this? I don't know the science of making an, a sand castle. Sure, whatever. Yes. I think I'll try slow and gently. Down she goes. Yeah, sorry guys. I didn't think that happened. Sorry, you two. Yeah, I haven't made a sand castle in years. What's done is done. Like, even even when I was like, like I don't like the beach. I'm not a big beach person. So like, the last time I went to the beach, I have not made a sand castle. Even when I was younger, like I had to have been like when I was really young. Was the last time I even attempted to make a sand castle. We need to begin rebuilding from square one. You're now tasked with helping Fran and me from sand, Lloyd. And if I did go to the beach, I would spend my time in the water because I do not like sand. Irritates me to no end. Got it. Don't beat yourself up about it too badly, Lloyd. It was doomed from the start. Both the water and the way I packed it were wrong. Oh, I screwed up big time. That should do it. It's really done. Oh, we did it. I'm glad we persevered, even if we, it did take longer than expected. Okay, so it still gets made in the end? Sure, or whatever. Yeah, sorry about the bad advice earlier. <laughs> All's well that ends well. We got it done, and that's what matters. Thank you for your support as well, Zite. The sand and water you helped gather for us was invaluable. Thanks for lending a paw, Zite. By the way, did you set on a name for the castle? A name? Oh, well, you did go through a lot of trouble to build a thing. I think it's only right to give it a name to remember it by. 
An excellent point. As for what it should be, I hereby dub the Mishi Castle. Hey, Tio, that's not fair. I think it should be Bam Bam Castle. Bam Bam Castle? On the one hand, we have everyone's favorite crossbow celebrity, Mishi. On the other, we have Bam Bam, Fran's beloved stuff stuffed bear. This is like, I, I think this is the easiest decision of my career. Do we go with the popularized mascot of Crossbow or a teddy bear of one person who lives in Crossbow? I kind of like them both. One more than the other. A castle can only have one name, however. You, Lloyd, are going to have to break this tie. Which is better? Good idea. You decide, Lloyd. Give it to us straight. May the best name win. No, so it loses aloud. Way to put me on the spot. This is a big responsibility. All right, if you say so. This is like, just whichever one sounds cooler, which, I mean, they're both meh, but I'm just going to go with Mishi. <laughs> well, this is a trip to Michelin, so I think it's only fitting we go with Michelin. I do kind of wonder what would happen if I picked Bam Bam, to be honest. I mean, I guess that makes sense. Oh, well, fair's fair. I'll let you have this one, Tio. Thank you, Fran. I'm glad we could settle that peacefully. You two have been working for a while, haven't you? Aren't you thirsty? I can bring some drinks later, if you want. Let me think. It may not be a beverage, technically speaking, but I have ordered the shaved ice from the concession stand. Oh, sounds perfect. Do you get one for me too, Lloyd? No problem. How about you, Zayt? Want a hot dog? You would like the hot dog. There's no need to rush, however. We can wait a while longer. If you wanted to check in with the others, yada yada, I'll see you two later. This is so pretty, Sully. It's not that big a deal. This rocket is kind of weird, though. I've never seen anything like it. Hey, guys, done swimming, huh? What have you been up to? Ah, oh, Lloyd, take a look at this. Isn't it pretty? Wow, it's pure white and perfectly round, almost like a jewel. Where'd you find this? Short stuff here picked it up earlier while we were swimming. I figured there had to be more, so we've been scouring the beach for them. The lifeguard over there said they were called white stones. I think the sand on this beach is brought in from a foreign country. Which means those stones probably came along with them. There might even be a few big ones buried around here. Really? Oh, we should all go look for more white stones. Whoever finds the biggest one wins. Sounds like a challenge. You're joining in too, right? Yes, I have to. Sure, I can't just leave you two go to go out alone now, can I? Alright then, let me know when you get your hands on a white stone. Once everyone has one, we'll compare and whoever has the biggest one wins. Sounds good. On your marks, get set, go! I'm gonna find the biggest white stone in the whole beach. Keep dreaming. There's no way I'm letting you two beat me. Okay then. Hopefully this isn't too hard to find. 